we've got our production budget going. We've got our direct materials and their costs. Next is direct labor. Let's talk about that. So let's look at our choices here. We have at Royal, we each print, uh, each unit uh, of product requires 0 0.05 hours or three minutes of direct labor. Uh, one of the things you want to be cautious of in answering all of these questions is it will say a percentage of hours. Remember, there's 60 minutes in an hour, not 100 minutes an hour. So 0 0.05 is not five minutes out of an hour. In this case, it's three minutes or it's 0.05% of an hour or three minutes out of an hour. Uh, also, the company has a no layoff policy, so everybody gets 40 uh, hours of uh, work per week. For the purposes of illustration, uh, it has a no layoff policy, so everybody gets 10 bucks an hour regardless of hours worked. Uh, for the next three months, direct labor force will be paid a minimum of 1,500 hours per month, and let's play our game. So we go to the production budget, we fill in the production budget numbers. This is pretty straightforward for you, so that's where these numbers came from. Uh, we multiply that by the amount of uh, hours, percentage of hours into each um, uh, category, in each uh, um, time frame. So we have 26,000 units of production and it's 0 0.05 uh, labor per uh, unit. So it's 1,300, 2,300, and 1,450. And of course, now we have our minimums that come into play. So we have guaranteed labor hours is 1,500. Uh, 1500 to 1500 the only month that is over that is May we're not producing enough so instead of uh, using the total uh, amount of labor hours that we actually used in some of our calculations we're going to use the actual amount of labor that was paid which is uh, 1500 hours minimum and of course in the month of May we had 2300 hours so we're going to use that and so we simply uh, calculate by the $10 hourly wage how much our direct labor wages would be. So when we look at this 1,500 hours, $10 gives you 15,000 labor. Uh, 2,300 times 10 is 23,000. And another 10 is 15,000 for the month of June. And we can add all that up. And you can see it adds uh, very easily across uh, the way. Obviously, the direct labor per unit does not add nor does the hourly wage, but everything else adds straight across in row in columns, or excuse me, adds across in rows, and therefore the column adds up at $53,000 in our direct labor budget. Now if we turn and go to the manufacturing overhead budget,